Okay, this is October, November 17, paper 13 and the code 9702. So the question number 36 is, two cells each with EMF, capital E, but the different internal resistances, R1 and R2, are connected in series to a resistor, capital R. The reading on the voltmeter is zero. What is the resistance R? So the cells are connected in series. So this is series circuit. Resistors are also connected in series. So according to the Kirchhoff's second law, suppose we take this direction, so both cells are giving the EMF in the same selected direction. So we can write E plus E is equal to, so the current is in this direction. We will assume that the current flowing through the voltmeter is zero because its internal resistance is too high. So E plus E is equal to current of the circuit I and the total resistance R1 plus R2 plus capital R. So it becomes two times E, I, R1, R2, and the capital R. But this is the information that the reading on the voltmeter is zero, mean there is no terminal potential of this cell. So whole of its EMF is lost across this internal resistance so EMF of the cell is equal to the last, which is I R1. So from this, we can determine the I, which is E divided by R1. Now substitute this I value over here. So two times E is equal to E divided by R1 and R1 plus R2 plus capital R. Now this E canceled. It becomes 2R1 is equal to R1 plus R2 plus capital R. So finally, we can write 2R1 minus R1 minus R2 is equal to R. So it is R1 minus R2. This is capital R and the option is B. I repeat this. In this question, two cells are connected in series according to the Kirchhoff second law, E plus E is equal to I and some of the resistors R1, R2 and capital R. And the next information is the voltmeter reads zero volt. It means whole of the EMF is lost across R1. No potential is left to deliver the rest of the circuit. So E is equal to I R1. I is equal to E divided by R1. So substitute this I. Over here, E divided by R1, this E cancel, it becomes 2R1, R1 plus R2R. So 2R1 minus R1 minus R2 is equal to capital R. So R1 minus R2 is capital R. So this is the expression for the external resistor. So answer is B. Okay, and this question number 37 now. Three identical cells each have EMF, E, and internal and negligible internal resistance. The cells are connected to three identical resistors, capital R. What is the potential difference between P and Q? Now look, again, the circuit is in series, so we can take any direction for the Kirchhoff second law. Suppose we select this direction. This cell is delivering potential in its direction. So according to selected direction, it's taken positive. It is also taken positive, but this cell is delivering voltage in the opposite direction, so it's taken negative. So this cell positive, this is positive, but it's a negative. So the total EMF is E plus E plus minus E is equal to current multiplier total resistance R plus R plus R. So one E canceled. So EMF is equal to three times I R. Mean the current in the circuit is E divided by three R. So this is the current in the circuit. Now the question is, if the voltmeter is connected between P and Q, 
what is the potential difference? Look, this cell is giving the potential EMF E and this R is the loss of the potential IR. So first we have to calculate the loss. The loss of the potential V is equal to IR across the resistor. So V is equal to I is E divided by 3R times R. So R cancelled. So the loss potential is one third of the EMF. This is the loss potential. Now, what is the remaining potential for P and Q? So we will write the remaining potential. V remaining is EMF minus the lost E by three because the cell has EMF E and there is a loss of the potential. So what is the remaining potential which is delivered to the rest of the circuit is EMF minus loss. So this is EMF, this is lost. So LCM taken three, this is three times E minus E. So it becomes two times E by three. So the answer is C. I repeat, first Kirchhoff, second law, sum of the EMF, positive E, positive E, and the negative because this cell is connected in the opposite direction to the rest of the cells. Total current is I suppose and three resistors, R1, R2 in series. So EMF is, resultant EMF is three IR, I is equal to E by three. So this P and Q portion has cell E with EMF E and R is the resistance which is losing the potential. So what's the last? V is equal to IR and V is equal to E by three according to this calculation. Then what is the remaining for the potential PQ? So E minus E by three. So the answer is two E by three. So C is the option.